spoken word concert on my uh, first like this on it. So thank you. Have a good night. Uh, Maggie S. Tess Kid Brother. Uh, come hey. on, everybody. I just started out to the first shower. I stand correct, but I'm a loser. You guys can fuck with me, man. Hi! I feel crazy looking at all these women. I feel like a bishop with a heart on his most expensive gown during quiet practice. <laughs> Professor Zicklar, that seems to be the problem. Stop beating on them, man. They're your sisters. Okay. Are you having an argument? What's happening? What's going on? Share with me. You used to be a nun, sir. So, um, you know what happened? I gotta tell you something weird, okay? This girl came up to me, right? You know how many people say this dumb shit to you? <laughs> what? Now you're being mean again! Mother! Give me my silly string! I'm gonna get you back! I have a tattoo. <laughs> you guys are mean! I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm just gonna sit here and sing a song for a second. I wanna be a Jersey girl. I wanna be a... What, 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 what'd you say, huh? What'd you say? Huh? I'm not afraid of you. I'm a Jewish variety. Right uh, don't you guys recognize me from Waco? Yeah. <laughs> Give me that urbane response. No, uh huh. That means, uh, get, that means leave. God damn it. Wow, aren't those lights look like glitterises? Oh, okay. yeah. I think I speak for the men in the audience when I say, Thank you. I think I speak for all the men when I say, Connie Chung is back, baby. Marla Maples is great in the Will Rogers Follies. My favorite actress has got to be, um, Sharon Stone's pussy, deaf and arrow. Screw you, that is method, pussy teacher. That pussy can cry, get angry, and hurl things across the room. That is last action twat, baby. All right, wait a minute. Let me explain that. I think Sharon Stone's pussy is going to be in Home Alone 3. It looks just like Macaulay Culkin's face. <laughs> Look, I gotta explain. They're like, pussy, now just a second. I respect my pussy. Look, it's very expensive. You see, I keep it in a little Tiffany box. <laughs> the greatest, most renowned actress of our day right now is Sharon Stone's pussy. Think about it, man. Well, all my friends went out to buy the magazine. You know, it's like, uh, did you see the whole pussy? Just half. I don't want to waste my $7. That's what they all kept saying. All right. What do I do? Now you guys are mad at me? <laughs> I'm very insecure, Candy. Okay. Just stand here and chain smoke. So now we got somebody else coming on. If I was gay, I should be. Oh, never mind. Right. <laughs> no, I do. If I was gay, I would just act, act tough. I think that's what you have to do if, if you're gay. Yeah, all you gotta do is act tough. Like somebody comes up to you, you know, and they're like, "Hey, Fred, we're gonna Fred." You know, just looking to go. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll suck your dick right here, pal. You want that tough guy? Huh? Huh? Fuck it. I'll take both your balls. I'll squeeze them gently and kiss them all. No, 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 Right down there, and I'll order a kettle up and cottage cheese with little pine nuts right in front of your mother, asshole. Tell her what a great marine you are right before you sodomize me. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, sodomy's a good thing. Read the sodomy chapter, and you look good, baby, speaking of sodomy. Your ass looks like a book that has never been read that should be memorized. I'm going to spread your ass cheeks like the pages of the Bible. It's good to be uptown again. Are you offended? No, I'm only offended by your stupidity. <laughs> the joke I find amusing. I'm offended by the fact that you didn't shave today. <laughs> all right, listen, we got another great act coming on. So hang up. We got some really, we got a surprise thing coming on in, in a couple more acts. So stick around, okay? Promise me. Promise me! Mother! Get me some licorice. I'm going to whip you with a Twizzler. All right. So we got a, oh yeah, we got a great act coming on next. He plays all around town. He plays underneath the bridge, over the bridge, on top of somebody's car. He even gets gangbanged in a van. His name is Cheese Russell.
You know, I used to sell pussy in the Mekong Delta. You understand? It's like I got more respect. I could pass you three off this men for a sea buck. You understand that? Right. If there were men in the audience, they'd be getting this. You don't get the imagery. Right? Well, after Winnie the Pooh, I stopped caring about surreal imagery. <laughs> right? All right. No, I want to talk to you now. Now I want to hone in on what's the matter with me over here. <laughs> you start to look like cops to me now. Like, oh, yeah? you women like asses and ride you to Jerusalem. I'll mount you like Harleys, ride you to the East Village. Where do your preferences lie? All right, good. Here's a visual for you. All right. So right now, listen, stick with me on this. We got, like, I'm working on this thing for, for a comedy central. It's a real serious thing, okay? It's something I wrote, and you know, you'll put up with it, right? You'll indulge just for a second, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right. But remember, let's not call them home. 
this anymore. Let's call them non-gap shoppers. I think that's better. Let's call them executives in transition. They're handling their way down to Mexico where all the real jobs are going to be after NAFTA. So you better trade in your Clinton wigs for a Winfrey Guap. I don't know. All right, so, um... Winfrey Guap? Don't worry about it. I don't like punch lights. Mm, I got a flu. I fucking got I'm sorry. <laughs> You guys are looking at me like, I have to pee! <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so weird working for a living. All right, this is, this is my impersonation. These aren't flakes, man. The road game's drying up. All right, this is, um, this is my impersonation of, uh, all right, now, this is what I think. I, imagine if Elvis bro bro broke it to his parents, you know, like, broke it to his parents. Like, in my family, they, they wouldn't have said, sure, Elvis, go and play your music. You know, you know what I mean? Like, when, when, if he was a kid, he'd be like, yeah, mom and dad, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't feel, I don't feel right, I don't feel like everybody else, I walk funny, I talk funny, I, I don't know, I don't, don't want to do math no more, my man, I don't want to do no more math, uh, I want to play guitar, my man, I, I, don't, I don't like, no, I don't, I don't like school, I want to get out of school, maybe I want to play some music or something, I don't know, uh, get him a guitar, will you? get him a harmonica, I don't care, just get him out of here, he's a pain in the ass, uh, I don't know, uh, he starts playing, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I like this, my man, I, I like this, if it feels good, it's, it's nice. It's, look at him walk. What's wrong with him? I don't know, Daddy. I think I gotta play my music around the world, Daddy. I wanna see the world play my music and give it out to everybody, Daddy. Mommy, Mommy, Daddy. I'm gonna see that bike out there. Well, I'm gonna get on that bike, Mommy. I, I'm gonna get on that bike, Daddy, and ride it around the world and take my music around the world. And what are you gonna do? Are you gonna ride your swing across state lines? Go do the dishes. What are you gonna do? Play, play music. What are you gonna do? Go to Vegas, become a lounge singer, wear funny pajamas? Put on a little clown suit. Go do the freaking dishes, will you? Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. Uh, they don't understand, but I don't. I don't. I don't like this. You know, I don't like doing the dishes. I, I want to see the world. I want to play my music. You know, I, I don't like this. You know, I don't want to do no dishes. I don't want to do this no more. You know, I. I want to see the world. I want to go out there. That's why Viva Las Vegas. Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm just being a bozo. You know, Viva Las Vegas. Right? He's right. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Oh, this is great. I like it. I'm, I'm going, Daddy. I'm going. Get out. Clean up the garage. All right, that's all. Right. Right. Worms. <laughs> Don't forget your free gifts on the way out. Look, she's like, going to the other comic. Okay, can we see the other comic, please? <laughs> Self-deprecation will get me nowhere. I believe in myself. It's all phony. All right. We got a, oh, we, oh, we got a special guest just stopped in. Uh, he asked me to give you a real phony bio, so here it comes. Now I'm going to get it. <laughs> No, he's a special guest, actually. He's been, he's, he just, actually just finished uh, uh, Whitey Polite comedy show. He just did uh, Uncle Cheese's uh, show in HBO. He did the A&E Comedy Sphincter Club, where it's real tight and hard to get in. And um, he did the Dry Vaginal, uh, I'm sorry. No, no I did the, um, I did the, yeah. the comedy label. Actually, yeah, that was pretty dank, wasn't it? Very small crowd, I don't know. Yeah, they were a little dry. Yeah. All right, enough of this. <laughs> Look, I gave you testicle shit for the first five minutes of my act. I demand equal time, okay? My balls feel like the Baldwin brothers fighting over a movie role. All right. Actually, this guy, um, actually is a special guest. He, he just did Evening at the Improv for his fourth time, and he just did HBO. He's got a show coming out. His, uh, so you'll, you'll recognize him, I think. He's been on a lot of TV shows. Uh, I give you Brick Mason. Very talented guy for him. Brick Mason in his blazer. Here he comes. Brick Mason.